I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? blood on the knife. No match. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it.
tears, Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. Anything? No. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir. Is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Hey, it's gonna be okay gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down! Should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out into the open. The hell?
Nice work, kid. <gasps> They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? He was hiding in a closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. But that sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. That would be... Catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? 
I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're onto him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're onto him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared. Paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react by the way? Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Screw this up, Harvey. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. If it comes to that. <laughs> Little brutish, don't you think? I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kinda small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Because I'm the one who's telling you to. You think I'm someone who makes idle threats? No, I suppose you're not. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. Drugs destroyed. Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Now, hang on, Batman, hang on! I had to make an example of him. To get people to respect... Gordon's death does no one any good. 
Nothing will improve by increasing Gotham's body count. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I... Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley! <laughs> thought we could work together. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is doing enough! Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Executions and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Situation. I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work.
Lucius, are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are, and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the elevator. I'm opening the doors. Now! <clears throat> Assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless youth! You're all bloody useless! Hey! It's the Baron Deadman! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again! Globe while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. Spare me the chatter, Cobblepot. Afraid not, mate. This has been in the making for a long, long time. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into Wayne technology when we can own it? Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, or your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Huh. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! Yet. 
I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, but... <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. my other leg. Now you can do whatever you want to me, but Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! I'm not telling you anything. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Sorry, was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? Just tell him Wayne put up a fight. 